Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I wanted to let you know that I went to a 99 cent store the other day and they've got their hummingbird feeders in. Now you can check Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all your dollar stores, even your little generic dollar stores, because they do still get them in. I'm pretty sure though Dollar Tree is now $1.25, but you'll have to go in there and see. The 99 cent store calls it a seasonal item for 99 cents. Now, I know a lot of your other stores, some of you contacted me a week or so ago and told me your stores got them, but ours got them in two days ago and they were bringing out the cases of them. And I bought a dozen. Now, I haven't bought any for about two years because I haven't been to a 99 cent store in two years. Unbelievable. And I was really excited to get them because now I can go through all the ones that are breaking. You know, the, the sun bleaches out the red and then it gets brittle and they break. And I've been trying to fix them, and I do fix them, but now, with a dozen more, I'm ready to go. So here's the thing. This is like my second favorite feeder. My first ones are First Nature. It's all of these here. I love those, and you know, they're cheap. You can get them at different places. You can find them online for $10. You can get them at Walmart for like $4. They raise their price. Those are my favorite ones because they come apart really good, and they're three pieces and easy to clean. But these two come apart really, really good. And so you can take them apart, and now with the these, you will have to use a toothbrush to clean. Or you can take a paintbrush. I took a long artist paintbrush, wrapped paper towels around it, put some bread ties on it, put it inside and scrubbed it out that way too. But a toothbrush, and you can bend a toothbrush over a stove or a candle, so you can make it the perfect shape to clean these out. So make sure you scrub them out really good when you take them in after a few days, wash them really good. Now the other thing is this comes apart too, which is wonderful. Very easy to clean. This you can clean out with a sponge and a toothbrush, but with the flowers, I've used uh, a mascara brush or I've used a pipe cleaner. Either one will work. Make sure there's no mascara on it. Get a designated brush just for that. Get an old mascara brush from an old, you know, makeup. Clean it really good and they clean wonderful. The same thing with pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner is really good too. You can clean it out. Now, this morning I put one out and it was literally only out for about an hour. And I'll show you, it was already black around the flowers. The reason it was black, it's not mold, it's dirt off the hummingbird's beak. I mean, they're foraging all over and there's soil and dirt and dust and they get their beaks dirty. That's why they love taking baths and I set up so many solar fountains for them because they get dirty. And when they come in to feed, they get the feeders dirty. That's why it's good even if there's food in it every three days or so, at least take it in and wash it. Mold generally grows on the inside. It will grow around the rim where they don't touch it. And that's what you want to wash off really good. You don't want them to get into mold. There's no reason for that. As far as the formula, it's the easiest thing. It's one cup of water. If you can drink your water, then they can drink it. Remember, they'll be drinking it out of sprinklers and things. And a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar. And that's it. I've got all the videos up there on how you can easily make it. It's really easy. You can put a little bit of warm water in first. You can use a half a cup of very warm water, mix up the sugar so it starts to melt, and then top it with another half a cup of cold water. And then you've got your formula ready to go. Anything you don't put in your feeders, make sure you store in the refrigerator. It can store for a good week in the refrigerator. And you don't have to fill the feeders when you're first putting them out. These feeders, for the hummingbirds in the United States is the most recognized feeder. They know exactly what this is because it's a dollar, they last for a good year, sometimes two, and they know the feeder. So they could be flying way up in the sky and they're gonna see this feeder hang in there and they're gonna know exactly what it is. So these are really good feeders if you've got a fancy one and they're not coming. Get yourself one of these if you can and hang it up with your fancy one and then they'll come to this and then they'll check out your fancy one that looks so beautiful but something they don't know what it is and think, ah, that's a feeder too. Now another thing, just that hummingbird come in. Now another thing I wanted to talk about, <laughs> uh, he went out the other window, that's open. On these dollar feeders is you will if you want, have to make seats for them. There is no seats. They cannot sit on this. But I have put pipe cleaner here 
and then on those I put some wire. You can take any type of wire. It can be the finest wire. Remember, these guys sit on a leaf that's standing upright. So you can wrap some wire around there, make sure there's no sharp edges, and then just tuck it in there and bend it to shape so they have a little seat. It'll cost you nothing if you've got some bread ties. Very easy to do. You can find pipe cleaner somewhere. Just wrap it around, because these, as you can see, have the seat all around the feeder, and that's why they sit and they hang out. And you get to enjoy them a little longer, otherwise they just come and feed and there's no place for them to sit here. So make a little seat if you want. It'll take you a few seconds to do it, and the birds will enjoy it, and we get to enjoy the benefit too by watching them sit at the feeder a little longer so we can check them out and watch these adorable little gems. So I think I've gone over everything that you need to know, and of course you can always make your own feeders. That's an ice cream container. And these are my dots. Those are free to make. We'll get into this another day. So check out your dollar stores now, even if you don't have the hummingbirds there until May. Because the thing is, a lot of times they get one shipment, sometimes two, and when they sell out, if they can't get any more, there won't be any more until next spring. So you want to get them now and be ready for the hummingbirds. So when you spot them, you can get the feeder out, and then you can end up with thousands and thousands of hummingbirds like me. If you want. Be careful what you wish for. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget, to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. You are very distracting. <laughs>